If you're a Christian, I wonder if you've ever doubted that the work of Jesus on the cross is complete for everything that you've done wrong. Well, if you are, and if you have genuinely asked him for forgiveness, then you need never doubt, never fear, that the work of Christ on the cross was enough to forgive you from every single wrong thing you've done, past, present, and incredibly even future-wise. We get that from the work of Jesus on the cross, especially from his final words recorded in John chapter 19, verse 30. Jesus has just cried out that he's thirsty. And so they get this wine vinegar, they put it on a sponge and a stalk and they, and they lift it to his mouth. And then we read this. When he had received the drink, Jesus said, it is finished. With that, he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. Jesus had completely and perfectly finished the work the Father had sent him to do. And that was to go into the world to be the saviour. To pay for our sin, every single one of them. In the Greek, the phrase, it is finished, is tetelestai, which literally means it is finished, it stands finished, and it always will be finished. What a, what a wonderful, fuller statement of truth we, we get there. And we need to remind ourselves, if we have genuinely asked for forgiveness, all our sins have been dealt with. They've been paid for wonderfully, perfectly by Jesus. When I was a youngster, I used to sing a little chorus. Uh, many of you, I'm sure, will know. And it was very simple. It was, gone, 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 gone. Yes, my sins are gone. There's another verse, and it speaks about them, our sins being buried in the deepest sea. Yes, that's good enough for me. God himself writes that our sins have been removed as far as the east is from the west. That's a pretty long way. And so if we have any doubts, any fears, we should just lay them at rest because Jesus said, it is finished.